Hi there, thank you so much for watching my video. This is an instructional tutorial on how to use the attendance tracker. So first of all, we've got the names here on the very left. So you can change the names at any time. So if you wanna put, you know, student one, when you do that, it will change the name up here on the top. This um, chart will show you the percentage of attendance if they are present. That does not include tardies. That just means present on time and not tardy. Okay, so student one came in. They have been absent 14 times and they've been present 15 times. They've been tardy two times. So this percent present is the percent that they are absolutely like present and not tardy. So each one of the days, so if the state that you're a teacher and you're trying to take attendance for your class, uh, this is going to show you the beginning date of the, the day that the class started. So if you guys started on, you know, the 9th, then we're going to do it on the 9th. If we can change this date to any date you want, so say we start school, you know, August 2nd, then this will change the dates here. So student one has been absent, present, tardy, and then you can change their date so that you can say, hey, they're present this date, they're present this date, they're present this date, they're present this date. And you can go all the way out to the end of the month. So say we get down to the 31st of the month and they're present. And what do you want to do when you have a new month? So say you want to continue uh, checking your attendance for another month. All you do is you go here to the bottom tab. You uh, duplicate. And then now it will show another copy. So you change the date here. So if you want to go to another month, you start September 1st. And then, so this month was August. And then this is September. So you can right click, rename, and it can now be September attendance. And all your students are still there. Uh, so now you just need to um, put the different items. Now, if you wanted to just start fresh, you would highlight all of these items here and then you paste it in. And then that way it starts out with zero. And then you could also even take your mouse, see where the little um, square is, and you can bring it all the way to the right. And then now it's you can start fresh. So student one has been absent zero. And then you can start at the beginning. And let's just hope they come to class every day. And then they missed on Tuesday. Okay, so does that make sense? I hope so. Uh, feel free to send me any questions in a message or contact me at savvyandthriving.com for any questions. So the last part I want to show you is adding new students, and that's pretty easy. So you would just go here on the bottom, and then you would just write another student. So student two. And then when you put their name in, their name is going to populate up here on the chart. So if you do student three, their name is going to pop up. And then once they start being present to class, you can watch their bar chart grow. You could also, uh, if they're present a lot, you can just click and drag all the way to the right. And then all of a sudden they've been in class a lot. So that's how that works. Um, if you have any questions again, feel free to reach out. If you found me on YouTube and feel free to go into the link in the description notes, and then you'll find the link to purchase this spreadsheet. Thanks so much. And y'all have a good one.